Tom believing the scammer's story, this grandmother tried to mail the money as quick as possible. But it's a good thing that she turned to her local pharmacist. At the Henniker Pharmacy, Sarah Chapin knows her customers. And Thursday, she knew something wasn't right. She was so worried and fearful for her grandson. An elderly woman came in with an urgent need. She wanted to overnight express $5,000 to New Jersey. Chapin started asking questions. Is this a relative? No. I said, do you know this person? No. I said, why are you sending cash to somebody you don't know? I'm not supposed to say. The woman said her grandson was involved in a crash, was hurt, and needed the cash to be bailed out of jail. Chapin used to do money wiring, and she knows a scam when she sees one. She just kept saying, you can't say anything. I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I said, you're not supposed to tell anybody because they don't want you to stop the transaction from going through. They want you to send it, be done with it, be gone. Chapin convinced her to go to police. They called the scammer. Who said he was a public defender out of Patterson, New Jersey. Uh, she asked for his bar number and some other important information, and he refused to give it to her. Eventually, the woman talked to her grandson, who was fine. She likely would have been taken advantage of if it wasn't for Chapin's vigilance. They're out there and there's a lot of people that that prey on other people and it's not good. Henniker police say to be very careful when giving out any personal or credit card information and when in doubt, call your local police department with any concerns. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.